Okay everyone, this is the section where I'm going to talk you through um, using the new ePortfolio system. So if you go to the um, university's sort of standard homepage, which is your um, SOH sc.tees.ac.uk, that'll take you to the kind of intranet for, for the school homepage. Now over on the right hand side you'll be able to see over here is the Mia Beta or the ePortfolio system. So if you just like to click into that, okay, and then just sign in with your standard um, username and password, which is what I'm going to do now. Okay, so your screen might look a little bit different to this, but you should have it split into like latest shared items and last, latest modified forms. Um, but essentially there shouldn't be anything in there because you haven't modified any forms or shared any forms yet. So the first thing to do is to go up towards the top is the ePortfolio. So if you just click into there. And this should take you to this particular page. Now you can get to the page you want to one of two ways really. You can either use the forms which is that bit at the top there. Or you can use the forms bit there as well. So again, if you click into forms, it'll take you to this particular screen. And from here, the bit that you want is this form template bit there. Right. Okay, so you'll notice here um, that the forms that you guys will have access to will be... Um, the forms for clinical placement one, um, clinical placement two, etc., and forms for radiographic practice one. So the ones that you don't want are these three forms here. Okay. They are the undergraduate. Um, they are the undergraduate forms. The ones that you guys want are the three, obviously, clinical placement forms there okay so you'll want to get placement one placement two and placement three it's not absolutely essential if you don't get them all now um obviously if you're watching this and you're in the first um you're our 2015 cohort then obviously it's worthwhile getting all three um if you're the 2014 cohort obviously you'll only want uh those well that one um for this particular clinical placement So if we tick all three and then add selected, right, and then once you're here, you'll go click here to view all your forms. Now the process I'm going to show you now is for you to share these forms um, with your clinical site coordinator. I'm going to use clinical placement one sign off form, but obviously if you, as I said before, if you're in the 2014 cohort, then obviously this will be exactly the same process, but with the clinical placement three form. So, if we go into Clinical Placement 1. Now, what you'll notice here is that you essentially offered a quick share option. And this is this um, kind of box up in this area here. Now, the one that you want to use is the Diagnostic Radiography academic staff and mentors okay now this will mean that all site coordinators will be able to see your form but that doesn't really matter because they know that you're not their particular student now before you do share there is something that you'll need to do and if you have a look on the top left here we've got an edit button so if you click on that um, I wouldn't bother changing the title, but what is quite useful is if you fill in the student name and uh, student number there. Okay. Now, at the end of the clinical placement, um, once your mentor has signed you off as competent, um, so what this process is essentially doing is it's allow allowing an an electronic 
record of your completion of the kind of competencies, which is something that we have done previously. Um, only you didn't have to share any forms or anything like that with your uh, with your um, site coordinators or your mentors. So this is kind of the final bit of the sign off for each clinical placement, which is the which is the bit that only the the clinical site coordinators can do. However, they can't submit that form. You still have to you still have to submit it. So once you've shared it, then you can kind of forget about it until the end of clinical placement. Now, once the end of clinical placement has come around um, and your site coordinator has signed you off comp as competent, um, you simply need to go into the create a submission um, and then simply just submit. You won't be able to edit um, or anything like that when you go into that tab. Um, I'll just do that for you now so that you're aware of what it looks like. So this will obviously all be filled out um, by you and these bits at the bottom here. Um, you know, things like the time to make up, other competencies, comments, etc. Um, but all you simply need to do is just click the submit button. And that is the the ePortfolio. Now, unfortunately, because this is brand new to the university, we haven't had time to to show you it, kind of in its in its completion and all of the different things that it can do for you. Um, but for those of you um, who are moving into the second year of your MSc, um, we're hopefully going to get Donna here along um, at your induction to talk you through some of the other things um, that the a portfolio can do and the other thing that you will need to be aware of is that you'll have to do this for each of the um, clinical placement forms as well okay so you'll have to share um, each one separately um, again for those of you who are in the 2015 cohort you can do that straight away and you can share all three forms with your site coordinator and that way that you, you know you know that you've that you've shared them and you know that it's been done 